Passion Act TV driver manager Steve Cunningham after the 2 1 victory at Whitby Town. Steve back to winning ways. A goal after 43 seconds, you can't say. A better start than that. Yeah, but then we conceded three minutes later. So uh, I thought that was going to be the style of the game. But no, it's fantastic, mate. Um, look, we've come away to a tough place at Whitby. Uh, no one likes coming here. Uh, but when you look at the pitch, you know, credit to the groundsmen. They get a lot of sticks. So did we last year and other clubs. But. Uh, fair play to the groundsman because the pitch is immaculate and they were watering it before the game and yeah it got sticky later on because obviously it's windy it dries out here quite quickly but uh, it's a tough place to come and me and Nathan uh, we had an agreement uh, a couple of weeks ago that we'd both come out of the FA Cup with the first games so that we could play on a Saturday so I didn't have to travel that's the relationship we've got cheers Nathan but, um, <laughs> but no um, you know Nathan's got a good hard work inside there at the moment we're both coming off the back of some losses where they're, they're unjust some of them you look at the Morpeth loss for us the Macclesfield loss was a deserved loss because I thought Macclesfield were a better team and you look at their result today beating South Shields 5-0 it sort of shows you the, the calibre of what Macclesfield actually is but I just feel like uh, Nathan's got an hard working team here that they will win games of football and he's like us I mean we've had six players missing today when you think Nathan Lowe hasn't played Louis White's not played, Josh Doherty's not played. We're still waiting on Alburn to come back. Uh, there's a couple of others that haven't travelled. Young George Shamil, who's on crutches, and we hope he has a speedy recovery. We're just down to the real bare bones at the minute. Um, but the lads who have took the opportunity uh, have been outstanding. Now, when we start the way we did, I thought Darius Asai the last few weeks has been outstanding. His work rate, his attitude, he's the most unselfish player I think I've ever come across. And to score the goal that we did with the passing, the quality that come from young Trevon, who's made his first full start today, you know, what a goal that was. But then we go and concede straight away and you're thinking, oh, within three minutes, four minutes, it was poor, poor defending. But listen, we'll work on that. And I thought we reacted really well because we had the wind against us first half. But I just thought uh, we were outstanding today. Every man, I thought we were outstanding. Um, special mention Jack McCourt. It's his first game. Um, it won't mind my, me my saying he's had the most frustrating time he's had yet. Uh, we brought him in as a big player for us. And I think today you sort of saw a player that's only 70%, 60% fit play the game that he can play. So imagine if he was like bang at it fitness wise. But I just feel like uh, it was just a really good performance, mate. I'm overjoyed, to be fair. Obviously, you mentioned Darius getting the two goals. He probably could have had three or four more if it weren't for Shane Blandy net for Whitby. He's had a superb game. He could have been five, six, seven. Yeah, and I think there's two goals that have gone over the line. There I think is. their penalty was soft and we didn't get one. Uh, and that's no slur to Nathan's team, by the way, because I don't want to sound disrespectful. But I just feel like the way that they went down and they went looking for a couple in the second half, Gilly goes down. And, and I thought the referee actually had a good game. Um, he said he didn't see it. But then I'm looking at him going, Gilly's got an open goal two yards out and he ends up on the floor. Gilly, he's on a goal bonus. I know Gilly, he will score for an extra 25 quid. And trust me. So I look at that and just think that, that was a bit soft. But um, I think if you, if you look at it as a whole, I thought defensively with Sean, Birdie, Benny Cuto uh, and Dan Cowan and, and Jordan. I thought, you know, a couple of pot shots from them, but I thought we, we limited them to very little today, especially on their manner. I thought we defended excellently. I thought we played some cracking stuff. Um, and I thought our two goals were well worked. You know, Darius deserves his two goals because his work rate, as I said, he's the most unselfish centre forward I think I've come across. And I've been saying he deserves his goals. And his two goals today were outstanding. My header, the, the far finish, uh, top bins. Um, so I'm pleased for Daz. Um, I'm just pleased for all of them because, like I can say, and I'll keep saying it, it's a tough place to come here. And coming off the back of four losses, uh, three losses, FA Cup was not planned, but it was. We all know why we did that. The the Morpeth game was a hard one to swallow because we were the better team and had the more chances than conceded with last kick of the game. And then you're coming off a tough result midweek where we worked hard. They ran us ragged, Macclesfield, for large parts of the game, and we put in a shift. So to come to Whitby away and put in that kind of performance. It also shows that we've got something about us. You know, it really does when you look at the players that we've got missing. So that's a tough, tough three points, but a well-deserved three points because I thought we were excellent today. And momentum building into Tuesday night. Matlock at home. So they've got their first win of the season today in the league. Well, it's typical, isn't it? I mean, they've been poor all season. Um, they've been getting battered by most teams. They get an investment straight away and they go and sign four or five players. And uh, all of a sudden, <laughs> you're playing a different team altogether so 
But listen, we're, we're, we're confident at home. You know, they'll come to our place. They'll be coming, obviously, confident now they've had the first win. And fair play to them. Good club, Matt Lock. There's some good people there, to be fair. Um, and if someone's prepared to go and back them to get them out of trouble, I think that's brilliant as well. You know, there's no bitterness on that. I think it's great. We did it with David and Jonathan. Our club was struggling, and then it needs people like that to come in and rejuvenate the club. So, yeah, tough place to, uh, sorry, a tough team to be coming and playing off the back of this. But hopefully, after that, um, we are sadly, 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 sadly. So it gives us a chance to get players back. Like I say, I'm not trying to plead the, the poverty card here, but when you've got Nathan Lowe out your team, Louis White out your team, Josh Doherty out your team. They were three starters that have played every game so far, virtually. Uh, Jason Gilchrist only just coming back from an injury. Um, yet to see Alburn. Yet to see Alburn. So we're in a great place. If you think now, what's that? We've played nine games. Um, and we've, what, won five? Drawn two and lost two. So In the league, yeah. Yeah, so I'm trying to get my maths going there. Uh, <laughs> it's been a great start considering we've not been able to play and when I say this, I don't mean it's disrespectfully to the squad, but we've been able to play our strongest team yet, back to back. Um, but when we do that, I, I do think that we've got a great group and we can go on good runs of wins. But I think today we've shown that even when we're, you know, under the cosh in terms of squad numbers, fitness, because, you know, we're asking Sean Newton to play every minute of every game again at the minute. You know, we're asking uh, Berkey to keep throwing his body on the line every minute of the game. And we've got players playing now today that are hurting. You've only got to look at the team sheet. We had three subs today, and then one of them was a goalkeeper. To one point, we nearly had to put Conor O'Keefe on up front. He got stripped in the in the dugout to go up front. So, I think that's what makes today's win an even um, a better tasting win, uh, because these are tough places to come. And we did say, when you're under cosh with things that going against you, these are the best ones. So, yeah, looking forward to a bus journey home. We have a quick pint with all my boys, and then uh, we concentrate on Tuesday.